back house or shed in the driveway. There's a roof from the trailer park in our driveway. And yet your house didn't get touched, right? That's what I thought. The injector was here yesterday. It went up on the roof. Apparently on the backside, a piece of the trailer park went across and just shredded the back of the roof. Oh. Yeah. So we need a roof on this house, a roof on the back house. The deck, it fell on the deck. We got to get all this removed. I mean, that out front the other day when I came up, we went in the basement for it because it came straight down our driveway. And when we were in the basement, I came up, see if up there fell, the, the, everything was on fire up here. I just, the congressman, this is what he's talking about. That's, we got here minutes after the hurricane or the tornado was through. That's just the energy that we light from that tree that he's talking about. You see this rock right and, here? Wow. And, and then it exploded and all the wires came down. You see this rock right here? That used to be right up by that black part. That was my that was the bus stop for the kids. They would sit on the rock. Up there. And you got back after this was all over. I was in the basement. Were you in the basement? My son, we have we have the windows on the side of the house. He was standing in the middle of the basement looking, he's like, there it goes, there it goes. I mean, the whole house shook and the whole you really cliche, are it sounded I, like I a I know it's hard to say because you lost so much, but God Almighty could have taken your whole house. Well, that's the thing. If you go past this car and look on the right and look at the damage here and here, no one can believe that nothing hit our house. Yeah. It's like, I mean, if you look up every single tree, as far as you can see, like there's two big trees right there. They didn't fall, but they're split, but they're split down the middle. And she said, I, I really felt like it sounded like a jet coming right at our house. Yeah. And most people had gotten the warning, right? That, um, it that came out, the warning came basement. out about five, yeah, about, I guess about five minutes before it actually struck, because I got it. Was it was less than that. Yeah, Le yeah less than that. Yeah. Yeah. Less than that. In fact, my wife was at the PT over in Marmora Collins, which is about, you know, half a mile from here, not even. And I jumped in the car to go get her because I, you know, because I was home and she was there. So there were two silent. So some of obviously some of the major damage is, is, is already cleaned up. This house put the put the baby tree right through the roof. Big, big hole right in the center of that roof. Hey, get What? So there were headstones that were left. You were here the other day, right? Headstones were turned over. And... Yeah. Well, I figure each headstone is minimum 300 pounds. They're tossed around like dominoes. It's amazing. And some of the big things are the these trees. I mean, 12, 15 inch trunk. They're not snapped over. They're torqued off. So the wind was that strong to Bent twist it, all it the way around. Yeah. Just like I'm doing a, a bar. Or off their bases, which is easily fixed. Uh -huh. So your father was saying 300 pounds, most of these headstones? Oh, well, yeah. Least. That's the least. That's the lightest. That's, like, that's, that's a, a light, light one. one. They just gave me a bench from my parents' grave. The top is 4 inch thick granite, 15 inch, four, about 30 inches long. That's over 300 pounds. Yeah, you need equipment to move these, you can't. Yeah. So you start talking about that with the base, that's, you know, so that, that would be 400 pounds, but the bigger guys. Amazing, so it's, right? Wind? And the wind just toppled it over.